Hello, students. Good evening, everybody. Hello, good hello. Good evening, teacher. Hello, guys. Welcome to our English good evening, class. Teacher. Hello, yeah. guys. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good to see you guys. Welcome to our English class. It's actually a great chance to be with you this beautiful nine and also ready to learn and practice. And uh, well, let me uh, present the topics for this class today. We have a presentation that I just want to share with you right now. And um, I just want to know how was your how was your day? Tell me about it. It was good. You had a busy time. How was your how was your week? Tell me about it. How was your week, by the way? Yes. Hello, hello. It was good. It was bad. How was your week? Tell me. My day was, was good. It was good. 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 Yeah, yeah. It was very well. Excellent. So awesome. Awesome to know that. So you, you had a busy time. That's that's definitely great. For me, it's very good, teacher. Oh, very good too. That's that's nice. And also and your day, teacher, in your day. Oh, my day. Uh it's it's doing pretty good. Thanks for asking. You know, working a lot because I have a very challenging schedule, but uh, at the same time, encouraged because you have to be very happy and motivated to start um, uh, something you do. In my case, I love teaching. So that's why it's uh, very, very um, exciting, you know, to be part of an English class. So I feel good. So, well, before that we start, I just want to ask you, um, what did we study yesterday in the, in the class? What do you remember? What topics uh, did we develop in the class? I just want to know a little bit about, about this. Tell me, what did we study, guys? Tell me about it. What did we study? I remember study. Yes. We see yesterday, este, de, so, to, needed, and eaten. Exactly. Yes. Excellent. We studied that. Of course. Thank you. Thank you so much. And what else? What else? And practice the conversation with partner. Oh, we practice the conversation with a partner. Yeah. That, that's that's okay. We also did that too. We have the the opportunity to you know interact, especially uh, with some partners and about you know, it's on a specific topic. Well, we're gonna start this day, uh, our next section. And also we are going to study today what we call the model verbs and would and will for request. This is going to be the topic that we will develop in this class. And also there are some valuable details that I would like to highlight, look at this. So can you check that? Can you can you see that? I need a volunteer for helping me to read the instructions about the general objective. What are we going to get in this in this level? Francisco, thank you so much. Tell me about it, Frank. Hey, teacher. In this session, participants will listen to a conversation between two people deciding where to go for dinner. Words such as so to neither and either will be introduced. Oh, thank you so much. So in this conversation, they will listen to a conversation between two people. Okay, that's um, something that we were socializing. And, and also uh, we had yesterday a review related to the so to neither and neither because we need to make a backup of this exercise before. And we said that uh, when somebody says, I like Japanese food a lot, and you you agree with that, you will say, oh, so, so do I, or I do too. Or if you don't agree, you will say, really? I don't like it very much. So you don't, you don't agree with this. And um, checking this one, I'm crazy about desert, so am I, because you are using the verb be, in that case, um, I am, or I am too. 
And if you disagree, you will say, mm, I'm not. And also we have the next statement that you say, I can eat really spicy food. So, so can I, or oh, I can too. Really? I can't. So we were saying that if we start with can, we also will respond with can too. In the case that we are using a negative form that a person is saying an statement in the negative form, and we agree about that. So we can use either and neither. Look how interesting is this. And look at this. I don't like greasy food. Neither do I. Or oh, I don't either because you don't agree. Oh, I, I, I like it a lot. So in that case, you could say neither do I or I don't either. I'm not in the mood for Indian food because you're using the verb be. Um, neither am I or I'm not either. Really? I am. And if you're using can, you say I can't stand fast food. Neither can I. I can't either. Oh, I love it. And we're saying uh, these are structures. And also we got some vocabulary related to um, fast food, like healthy food, greasy foods, salty food, rich food, spicy, delicious and bland food. So look at that, especially most of us that we like, you know, special fast food. So we have different kind of food. Well, I will show you right now uh, an exercise. It says complete sentences with the correct uh, form of either and neither. To and so, I really, I really missed Kate. I was so tired after the game, was I? I haven't tried Chinese food before. And also you can see here some possible statements, but we won't focus on this because there are like general things. And, but the next extra slide that I really need to check is this one. Look at this. And choosing the correct auxiliary verb. Imagine you're having a conversation with Jenny. What she says is also true for you, right? So I or neither I choosing the correct auxiliary verb. En este caso, usted va a dar una respuesta, ya sea si es eh, affirmative or is negative. For example, Jenny, I can't play the piano. Eh, so you could say, what can you say? What two possible choices do you have for the first one? I can't. Um, neither can I. Neither can I. Neither can I or? I can't either. Ah, okay. So that's right. So try to answer or, this question. Yes? Or really? I can. Ah, okay. Yes, because in my case, I... I I play the piano, but I'm not an expert, but I, I, I know a little bit. So I will say, oh, I can. Okay, so take a short time to complete the 10 statements using your your own answers. And, that, and after that, I will ask you to select the possible answers about it. So complete it, and then we will socialize the answers together. Let's go.
Okay, are you ready to try? Are you ready? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, so let's let's check the chat, right? Let's let's check the chat. And it says I can't play the piano. What possible choices do we have? Neither can I. Neither. Mm -hmm. Okay. I can eat her. I can eat her. That's right. Okay, look at the number two. The number two says Catherine is English. So Catherine is English. So what is the number two? Oh, so she... am I. Sorry? So I do. What's the possible answer? Number two? Hold on. Mm, no. So she Huh? So do I? Um number two. It is the number two. So am I. Exactly. So am I. Oh, what is the other choice? Am I too? Exactly. So look at the chat. I can chat by actualizar las respuestas. So that's the answer for the number two. You know, because she's using the verb like, you know, Catherine is, is English. So am I, I'm, I am too. Number three, um, she isn't coming to the party. Um, neither am I. Mm, so, neither. Neither she's. Neither am I. Mm, okay, because you agree, right? Neither am I. So, Catherine isn't coming to the party. So neither am I. Or cuál sería la otra? I am not either. Neither am I or I'm not either. Yes, exactly. I'm not either. Excellent. So we have this choice because we're saying that uh, that she isn't coming. Y pues yo tampoco puedo. Entonces, ahí tenemos la respuesta. Seguimos. Eh, number four. Let's see the number four. Uh, Lucy will come early tomorrow. En este caso, pues, eh, como estamos utilizando el will, que es un auxiliar, entonces vamos a utilizar el auxiliar como un ejemplo. Entonces, yo digo, Lucy will come early today. Entonces, yo digo, so will I. Es decir, yo también. O puedo decir, I will too. So will I. O puedo decir, I will too. En este caso, pues yo combino eh, el verbo principal, en este caso, I will, como auxiliar. Yo digo, I will come early tomorrow. Yo vendré temprano mañana. Entonces yo digo, hey, pero yo también. So will I. O puedo decir, I will too. Y vemos que es el mismo patrón para las estructuras. Look at the number five. ¿Cómo sería la cinco? So have I. I will too. So have I. Mm, no. So do I. So do I. So do I. Exactly. Porque el que lo guía I es. I do too. I do too. Look at the chat. Ahí en el chat estamos actualizando. That's correct. You know, so, so do I. Um, that's okay. And we have this example in this case. Number six. Uh, Dan lives in Madrid. So do I. So do I. Or I do too. I, am. I do too, right? 
So do I, or I do too. Yes, uh, as you can see, uh, because the Dan lives in Madrid. So do I, or I do too. Yo también vivo en Madrid. So we can see the example in this case. Look at the next statement here. So let's see what happened with the following part. And um, number seven, what do we have for the number seven? Neither do I. Right, neither do I. Okay, neither do I, or? I don't either. I don't. I don't either. I don't either, right? Because it's, it's a negative form. So look at the chat. Neither do I or I don't either. There are like two possible choices in this case. Uh, the number eight is a little different because the number eight is present perfect. La número ocho es el presente perfecto. Entonces, eh, esta más adelante ustedes la verán. Entonces, aquí como el auxiliar es have, porque no es presente simple, sino que es presente perfecto. Oh, yeah. So have I. Entonces, ahí sí usted puede decir so have I. O I have to. Porque es, no es presente simple, sino que es presente perfecto. Como dice Jenny, Jenny eh, I, I have been to Mexico. So have I. Es decir, que yo también he ido a México. Look at this. Vamos con el número 9. I'm going to home now. Voy a casa ahora. Voy a casa. I'm going home now. So am I. So am I. Okay. So. So am I. Or. I am too. I am too. I am too, right? So am I. Or I am too. Does it. We can see here this. Y la última, que en este caso es una oración en pasado simple. Este todavía no lo hemos revisado. Pero en este caso, como el auxiliar es did, usted va a usar la misma fórmula. Neither did I. Eso, correcto. O oh, I did. Tú. I didn't either. O oh, así, miren. I didn't, I didn't either. Exactly. That's correct. Y es la misma, el mismo orden, right? Entonces, eh, hemos completado lo que son eh, mm -hmm. parte de, las, de los ejemplos del oh. can't, is, y also el do y el does. Vamos a ver. Vamos a hacer otros simple statements. I'm just going to go back because I need to write here. One second. Look at this, mm -hmm. this one. We have a statement. Okay, uh, can you see the presentation? I don't know if you can see it. Yes? Yes. Okay. You say, I say, for example, in Pluto, I don't like pasta. I don't like pasta. So how can you say that you don't like pasta too? You don't like pasta too. How do you say that? I don't like pasta. And where do I? It's bad. I don't either. Mm -hmm. So do you say, I, do I do? I don't like pasta. Neither do I. Okay, neither do I, right? Or I don't either. I don't either. So look at this example. So you can see here the statement, um, I don't like pasta. Neither do I, or I don't either, because we have this form. And I love my favorite that came in my mind. Uh, I, I love proposals. So how do you agree with me with this? So do I. So do I, right? Or I... 
I do too. I do too, yes. And I can... Okay, I have a, a challenge for you guys. The next statement says, I can play the guitar. And how can you... So can I. So can I, or... I can, I can too. I can too, yes, I can too. Okay, so I'm saying that I'm interested in Mexican food. So what could be here the, the positive that you agree with me? So I am. Um, so am so I. Um, I. So am I. Oh. I am too. I am too. Vamos a, hacer, vamos a hacer un cambio. Right? We will try to make a change. I'm saying that, um, let's see. Okay, I cook pizza. How can I say um, that, that Daniela it does that? ¿Cómo puedo decir yo que Daniela lo hace? Vamos a ver. Si yo quiero reaccionar a Daniela, por ejemplo, she, ¿cómo, cómo diríamos que ella también, a ella también cocina? So does she. So does she. So does she. Or. She does too. She does too. She does too, right? And let's see, I, I can draw. And how can I say that eh, él también puede? She can. He. Okay. He. Él también. So can she. He. he. So can he. Or. She he can, can too. Chew. He can too. So I can draw. So can he. Or he can too. And let's see. Um, next statement. Okay, I'm not I'm not good for pasta. So eh, hablando acerca de ella, ¿cómo diría que ella tampoco? Que ella tampoco no es muy buena para eso. Neither is Neither she. she. Yeah. Neither. Neither? She. Neither is she. Exactly. Neither. Yes. Oh, she isn't. She isn't either. Yes. Isn't either. That's yeah. okay. So she isn't either. So you can see um, the possible answers in this case, right? I'm not good for the pasta. So neither, neither is she or she is a neither. Look at that. And the last one, I'm going to move this. See, look at this. Okay, look at this one. Uh, I, I'm not good for the past, neither she or she is a neither. And, uh, and we could say that, um, I do not like, look at this, look at this. Neither, Neither do I. Neither do I. I, 
Okay, perfectly. So we can appreciate here in this exercise that I don't like vegetables, neither do I, or I don't either. So we can see the example. And um, this is about practice. So you, you see the statements all the time, but uh, if you practice, practice and practice, you will feel more comfortable using these answers because it's a good way. So any, do you have questions or doubt? Oh no, for the moment. No, teacher, for me, no. Thank you. Okay, perfect. So, well, let's see the next uh, exercise that we will develop here. And we have a practice. Look at this food. You know, we have healthy food, greasy food, salty, rich, spicy, delicious, and bland food. Write responses to show agreement with this statement. Then compare it with the partner. I'm not crazy about French food. So you had to write responses to show agreement with this statement. I can eat, I, I can eat any kind of food. I think Mexican food is delicious. I can't stand greasy food. I don't like salty food. I'm not in the mood for it. Something is spicy. I don't enjoy rich food very much. And I always eat healthy food and I can't eat bland food. So what I want you to do is to have a short time to discuss these responses in small groups. Um, you will work in small groups and you will give a possible answer to each uh, statements that we have here. And also, let's see here, one second, because I need to, to take a picture so you can have it in the WhatsApp group. Like this. Okay, vamos a armar un break up rooms. And also you will have a short time to um, give an answer. For example, you will discuss with your partner. Okay, uh, Karina, how would you answer the first one? And you will say, and Jorge, how do you respond the number two? Sarah, how do you respond the number three? So we, we, are, we will be uh, socializing the possible answers for each uh, statement. So in this case, I will create the, the breakup rooms. So we will have a couple of minutes to socialize this one. So we will be working in groups of three or four members. Okay, are you ready? Yes, yes, teacher. yes, teacher. Excellent. Let's go.
Uy. Que te... Vale. Yo pensé que ya no iba más a salir. Pero... Ok. Uh, I think the answer is I am eater. I am not eater in number one. Um, for you, for you, Karina. ¿Cuál es su respuesta en la pregunta número uno? Neither I am. I. Neither I am not. I am not either. Sería neither do I. I don't either. Es lo mismo, sí va. No, porque no lleva do. Sino que lleva to be. I am not crazy about. I am not either. I am either. not either. I am not either. In number two, I can eat any kind of food. Yo, por qué dice yo puedo cocinar? No puedo comer una comida qué? Como comida de niño. De niño, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. mm. I, um, I can... Bien. Ahí está. Um, hello. Este, hello. Sí, teacher, disculpe. Este, le comentaba a la compañera que, que este, como yo me incorporé a clase, me conecté a las 8, pero prácticamente ya que, que pude estar acá sentada escuchando eh, hasta hace unos minutos, entonces a, andamos perdidas con el tema, igual ella eh, hasta, se está incorporando ahora, entonces porque no se pudo, parece que no se pudo no, conectar no. ayer. Ajá, por eso entonces teníamos un poco de duda. <risa> que mm. si no... ¿No vieron ustedes la grabación de la clase? Eh, no, la verdad no. No, no, teacher. Está en, la, en, en sí, el WhatsApp. Sí, eh, no, está ahí en, la, en, la, en, en, en nuestro grupo. A ustedes les mandaron toda la sí. información eh, donde están los accesos y ahí están también el, el acceso a, a los videos. Les voy a ah. buscar el enlace y se los voy a compartir por acá. Ah, ok, gracias, Ticho. Ok, en este momento. Gracias. Gracias. Ahí me Ah, ¿Para qué se los compartí? Hello. Eh, sí, entonces acá eh, le podemos dar clic y ver el video. Ahí están todos los, todos los videos, están de todas de las secciones que hemos tenido. Sí. Entiendo. Entonces, si uno se pierde la clase, uno puede este, con ese video pues instruirse. Así es, porque es lo que hemos estudiado durante la lección. Ah, de acuerdo. Uh -huh. De acuerdo, teacher. Muchas gracias. Muy okay. amable. Ok. Ok. El do. El auxiliar do. I don't hear. Yeah. I don't hear. Six. I am in the mood for something spicy. Hmm. 
ya nos sacó. Hola. Las seis, ¿verdad? Sí, las seis. Number six. I am in the mode for something spacey. Um, ¿Qué quiere decir ahí? La comida, la comida con muchas especies. Muchas especies, pero es como, ajá. Uh -huh. uh, I am not two. Sí. I am not two. I am two, perdón. No, I am two. A mí también. Uh -huh. Porque como ahí le está diciendo de que no le gustan. No, ah, no que sí le gustan. Sí. ¿Cómo no? ¿Cómo no? Sí, es es como una afirmación, sí. Sí, ya la había visto ahí. El... Sí, es number, number seven. Six. I'm crazy about Korean food. Seven. I'm crazy about Korean food. La comida coreana. Que le enloquece la comida coreana. Ajá, que le enloquece la comida coreana. Igual sería, ¿verdad? I am too. I am too, ¿verdad? Sí, yes. Ok. I am too. En number eight. I don't enjoy very much. No, no. Va. Number eight. I eight. don't no. No. rich food no. very much. Que disfruta mucho la comida rica. Así dice. <coughs> Yo no disfruto mucho. Ajá. La comida rica. Mm -hmm. Algo así. Yo sí la disfruto. <risa> vale, entonces ahí sí quizás sería. Entonces, Ay, don Aira, ¿verdad? Sí. Number nine. Nine, ¿verdad? I always eat healthy food. Yo siempre como comida saludable. Comida saludable. Ay, que ganan fuera ahí, no podemos decir. Pero pongámosla ahí en tu. No, um, no. So do I. I for, me, for me, so do I. ¿Cómo me dijo? So do I. So do I, cabal. Que yo quiero yo también, ¿verdad? Sí. Number 10. Ajá. Uh -huh. I can't. Hello, hello. Thank you, teacher. Hi. I, I lost my my session, my class. But... Ah, eh, ya, ya vamos a regresar a la, a la sesión principal. Okay, teacher. Thank. You're welcome.
Okay, let's give a feedback about the first one. You say, I, I'm not crazy about French food. Give me a possible answer. The first answer that comes in your mind. Number one, we will use the chat to, to work I in. Am, I am not hater. Um, okay, vamos a utilizar el, okay. I don't hear. No se escucha, teacher. Okay, uh, hello. Don't you listen? Hoy sí. Hoy sí, Estaba en silencio. <laughs> okay, well, so I'm not either o or neither am I, right? Decíamos o neither am I. Yes, teacher. Okay, neither am I. O es decir, ni yo tampoco. And number two, I can eat any kind of food. That's me. So can I, and I can too. I can too. So can I, and I can too. Es decir, yo también puedo comer de todo. Everything. Yes. Number three, um, I think Mexican food is delicious. I do too. I do too. I do too. Also do I. Also do I. Also do I. Yo también. Es decir, que yo... Es deliciosa. En este caso, I think Mexican food is delicious. Mm, okay, excellent. Number four. I can't stand greasy food. Neither can I. Neither can I. Neither can I. Es decir, ni yo soporto tampoco eh, la comida grasosa. Entonces decimos, neither can I. Yes. Eh, luego decíamos la número 5. I don't like salty food. Es decir, que no me gusta la comida salada. Neither. Neither do I. Or I don't eat her. Ok. I don't eat her. Es decir, las dos formas es lo mismo. No me gusta la comida salada, ni a mí tampoco me gusta. Entonces decimos, neither do I, or I don't eat it. And that is the answer for this. Number six, uh, I'm, I'm in the mood for something spicy. So, I'm a... So? I am, I am too. I'm right. Okay, so am I, or I am too. So am I. So you can compare in the chat the possible answers for this one. Number seven, um, I'm crazy about Korean food. I am too. So am I. So, so am I. I. Okay, so am I, or oh, I am too. Es decir que también, um, me encanta la comida coreana, so am I. Okay, number eight. I don't eat it. I don't eat it. I don't eat it. I don't eat it. Es decir, que, tam, que no me gusta. Hola. Neither, do Neither do I. Neither do I. Okay. Entonces decimos, uh, I, don't, I don't enjoy rich food very much. O sea, no me gusta, you know, enjoy rich food very much. So I don't either, or neither do I. And also, let's see the number nine here. Uh, I always eat healthy food. So do I. So do I. So do I, or I do too. I do too. And the last one that says, I can't eat bland food. Neither can I. Can you eat it? I can't eat. No puedo. Yeah, okay. So neither can I, or I can. I can't eat it. Okay, like this. Okay, you can see uh, the great examples, guys, about this, this part. Congratulations, because you have done a great job with this. I can see that you understand the the use of uh, of this answer is about practice. If you practice, 
you feel more comfortable to say, uh, so am I, so am I, so do I, so can I. So there are ways to answer and respond. People commonly use other expressions to say, hey, me too. Oh, I don't like it. But also this structure is very common and also it's very American. So I recommend you to do that. Well, meanwhile, we go on to the next part and it says international dishes. Uh, do you like vegetarian food? Yes. Uh, by the way, are you vegetarian? Is, is any of you vegetarian? I'm not vegetarian, but I like vegetarian food. Okay, interesting. So salads and also some kind of, of food that is very delicious and also is healthy too. Okay, uh, international dishes. Completely short, then add one more word to each category. We have beef curry, uh, tuna sushi, fried bananas, sweet and sour shrimp. Well, delicious, delicious. Grilled salmon, lamb's uh, kebabs, mushroom omelet, omelet, um, stir fried tofu, and chicken burrito. So, usted va a separar, va a completar el short con eso, ¿verdad? Meat, ¿cuáles son las meat? ¿Cuál es, ¿Cuál es la comida seafood? Que es comida marina. ¿Y cuál es vegetarian? De las que está ahí. Usted las va a separar. Y puede agregar otras comidas también. You can add more food rep representing the category meat, representing seafood, and representing vegetarian food. Meanwhile, you make the list. I will request because I need to check the attendance list. So work in this list. And I will take a picture of this. Look at the chat. Okay, international food. Well, complete the following exercise, guys, right now. And I'm going to check the attendance list. Okay, I will... Um, leave this page because I'm sending you the same picture uh, through WhatsApp. So check WhatsApp right now to complete this list. And also I will check right now the attendance list. Just give me one second, please. Okay, you will listen your name and you say present. And let's see here. And Amanda Jamilet Chicas. Present teacher. Uh, Andrea Gabriela Maravilla. Andrea Gabriela. Um, Brenda Liliana Quintanilla. Brenda Liliana Quintanilla. Eh, Carlos Edgardo Cruz González. Present. Eh, Carmen Lisette Santillana. Present, teacher. Thank you. Eh, Francisco Antonio Calderón. Present, teacher. Thank you. Iván Ibrahim Ramírez. Present, teacher. Yeah, yeah. Excellent. Jennifer Tatiana Gutierrez. Present teacher. And 
Jennifer. Sí, teacher. Okay, yes. thank you. Thank you. Jorge Present, teacher. Okay. Jorge Alberto Rivera. Present. Okay, nice. Jose Alberto Enriquez. Present. Jose Alexander Hernández. Present teacher. Thanks. Uh, Catherine, ah, uh, perdón, Karen Elizabeth Bernal. Present teacher. Thank you. Karina Alejandra Aquino. Present teacher. Okay. Um, Carla Lisette Martinez. Um, Carla? Um, Carla Stephanie Rivera. Carla Stephanie Rivera. Catherine Iracema Villalta. Present. Um, Catherine, uh, well, she's there, okay? Leticia Jaide Flores. Present. Uh, Linda Beatriz López. Present. Uh, Luis Eduardo Méndez. I'm here. Nice. Uh, Mayra Xiomara Guevara. Present. Thank you. Uh, Maria Dolores Garcia. Maria Dolores. Present teacher. Okay. Eh, Maritza Elizabeth Rojas. Present teacher. Thank you. Eh, Melissa Stephanie Linares. Present. Okay. Eh, Nelson eh, Rodimiro Pineda. Present teacher. Nice. Os Osmin Vidal Rivera. Present teacher. Thank you. Romeo Vladimir Rosales. Present. Eh, Sara Elisa Belloso. Present. Wendy Paola López. Present teacher. Thank you. Yolanda del Carmen Hernández. Yolanda del Carmen. Okay. All right, let's continue guys with the next exercise we're about to finish. And also, uh, Andrea Gabriela Maravilla, she's chatting. Uh, Andrea Gabriela. Mm -hmm. Let me check the attendees. Okay, so let's see here. Um, what are the meats? Uh, according to the list, uh, tell me uh, meat. What do you get from the meat? Chicken burrito. Chicken burrito. Okay. Chicken burrito. Chicken burrito. Lamb kebabs. Ah, okay, lamb kebabs. Oh, yes. Okay. And beef curry. Beef curry. Looks very interesting. If you look for in internet, if you look for in internet um, the beef curry, you know, you will see something very interesting. There are some food very delicious um, outside. Look for the internet, the, the, the recipe, the beef curry recipe. Well, it looks awesome. And I'm, I'm a little hungry to see that. And at the same time, the lamb kebabs also, if you look for in the net, you will identify um, interesting dishes, kebabs. And also it's a very, very nice dish and also very expensive. The prices of this food is very expensive abroad. And what about seafood? Um, what about seafood? What do you see in, in seafood? Tuna sushi. Tuna sushi. Grilled salmon. Sweet. Mushroom. Grilled salmon. Grilled salmon. Okay. Remember, it's seafood. Right. And what about um, vegetarian? 
Miss the mushroom omelet. Fried bananas. Fried bananas. Fried bananas. Mushroom omelet. Mushroom omelet. Yes. Well, I'm a little curious. Uh, which dishes have you tried? Uh, have you experienced one of the dishes here? Have you tried or not? Never. Chicken burrito. Have you tasted yes. which one? Yes, fried bananas. Ah, fried, ban fried bananas. Yes. Fried bananas, yes. Yes, fried bananas is one. Any other one? Chicken burrito. Mm -hmm. Yes, delicious. Beef curry. Ah, okay. Right, beef curry. Yes, yes. And also uh, the sweet and sour shrimp. It's, yeah, very delicious too. And which would you like to try? Sushi. Sushi. Ah, the, the tuna sushi. Yeah, it looks awesome. Yeah, and also interesting to eat. And also, I would like to ask you, what other uh, meat dish would you like to include? If you have one, you say, teacher, I recommend this dish, uh, another meat dish that you would like to include. How do you say costillas? Uh, actually, I was, I, was thinking about, I was thinking about this food and um, I, with my friends, mm -hmm. we were like talking about that. In English, uh, costillas is a uh, very ribs, like peculiar. No sé si pueden ver en el chat. Para ahí se los puse. No. Yes. Oh, okay. Ribs. Yes. Yeah. So that's, uh, I was actually having some food uh, with some friends and they wanted to eat that. It's a uh, very common food. What else would you like to include about meat? How do you say cangrejo? In this case, it's crabs. Crabs. Yes. Crab sushi. Oh, crab sushi. It's a new dish too. Nice. Like a part of seafood, right? With tomato. With oh. cucumber. Uh, cucumber and tomatoes. Oh my God. So interesting. Do we have a chef in the group? No? Do we have a chef? No. No. All of us, we are chef. <laughs> okay. Yes, there are some amazing dishes that perhaps we can try. Catadores. And? Only catadores, nada más. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, definitely. You know, tasters, we are good for that. We can give some opinions. Okay, guys. And actually, we had a good time talking about food. I mean, I rec my recommendation is eat before having the class eat because if not you will be hungry okay so i hope to see you tomorrow don't forget to work in the exercises and thank you so much for the practice it was doing it was doing great so i hope to see you tomorrow and have a beautiful night to all of you bye before if do you have a question no, no question teacher no question no question no teacher Wow, it's because you are very, very smart, definitely. Thank you guys and have a beautiful night to all of you. See you tomorrow. Thank you, teacher. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye, everyone. Bye. 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 Bye.